for your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins, please do check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at the checkout for 5% off your order. Yes, then you... <coughs> excuse me. Yes, then YouTube, we are back. Before we get started, guys, if you want to drop a like on today's video for me and hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. So we are back with a brand new custom tactics video with... A personal favourite formation of mine, yes, it is of course the 4 triple two, Arguably the best, most well-rounded formation on FIFA 23 and has been now probably for the last year. I'd say ever since like FIFA 22, maybe even FIFA 21, the 4 triple two is perfect. And the reason being, you've got the two strikers, but you also have the width. I find two strikers very key this year, especially with how overpowered chip three balls are and the three balls, etc. And the 4 triple two offers you the two strikers. Offers you the width with the lamb and the ram. And then also, at the same time, offers you the two CDMs like the 4-2-3-1. So, so, so good. It's just such a good formation. But I don't plug it enough. If you see on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, the Luke side, it is one of my sponsors. Luke1977.com. Check them out. Wolf20 at the checkout for 20% off absolutely everything. Even including sales items. You know me. Fresh as a daisy. Look banging t-shirt check them out link is down in the description below this video as well to luke's website so go and check them out beast of sponsors so yeah four triple two i love the formation man absolutely love it so as we get into the tactics with the four triple two they aren't what you are looking at on your screen so to start off with with the defensive style it's always going to be balanced youtube let's be it's just it is always 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 going to be balanced it's never going to be anything different but like i do say in every single video Pressure on heavy touch and press after possession loss. They are good. Believe you me, YouTube. They're good. They're OP and they're broken. Especially press after possession loss. Like press after possession loss is very, very, very good. But if you're going to use it, make sure you do use the five subs and stuff like that. Because your player's stamina, they won't get drained too much. But they will get drained. Especially if you're in like a weekendly game and it's going into extra time. You will notice a considerable lot less stamina. So don't really use it if you're not expecting that. But for me, I always like balanced. I like to be in control of, like I always say, where and when my team presses. I like to be in control of that. I don't want my team just to randomly start pressing. Like, for, for example, press after possession loss. They press literally every time you lose the ball, which is a good thing. But it can be a bad thing if you're like not in a good position to press and your AI will just press. Your opponent beats the press. He's more than likely going to have a very good opportunity to score a goal. So for me balanced always the defensive width this is very interesting i've really found a happy medium g spot with the defensive width and it is 45 basically you want your team to be a little more narrower than the basic 50 the reason being like i said earlier because of how overpowered the chip through balls the first time through balls through balls in general are on this fifa at the minute you don't want your team to be nice and wide when they're defending you want them to be compact so it's easier to play a switch to them for example if your opponent plays a through ball on the left hand side of your defense your left back and your left center back they're closer together so it's easier to to the, like pick up the left center back and vice versa that's why you want to defend with a more narrower width than the 50 so 45 Bish, bash, bosh, King Bob is your uncle. The defensive depth, you know me. I've always been a 72 depth this FIFA because of the automatic offside trap. But, and there is a but, I don't use it anymore. If any of you will have seen my recent custom tactics video, you know I don't use the 72 depth for the exact reason that I just said. The overpowered chip through ball meta, the first time through balls and stuff like that. They're overpowered, they're broken. Like They are very, 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 very broken. So you don't want to defend with that high depth, in my opinion. You can still do it if you want to. Like If you are feeling a bit yolo -y, you can still go, yeah, you know what, let's, let's fucking do it. Like, excuse my language, let's do it. Let's play 72 depth. Just expect that your opponent's going to get in quite a few times. So I play balanced 45 and 55. That's perfect for me. The offense and the builder play... I don't even know why I bother saying this, but it's never going to change YouTube in every single video. Balanced and direct passing. The build-up play, though, one thing I will say, long ball is good. Uh, like, you know me, I always do like to experiment with the custom tactics, try a couple of things out. Long ball is definitely good. Long ball will definitely work. Not partnered with direct passing, in my opinion. You'll have to, you know, All your players will be running away from you, which you might think is a good thing, but then sometimes you won't actually have a pass on, Like if you don't know what I'm saying. So... Long ball is good, but if you're going to use long ball, don't use it with direct passing. But for me, and most likely for you guys, balanced and direct passing, I love that combo. I, I, just, I just think it's overpowered, broken, and it works. Excuse me. The offensive width on a 4 triple 2 I don't touch it. 50 offensive width. I like where the lamb and the ram are. 
without touching it and without going into too much detail. I just like where they are. I don't see the point of trying to change that. So my, my Lamb and my Ram are in a perfect spot. I like where my two strikers are. No no point no point trying to change the width. If it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. It's the same. Players in the box, it will be on five to start off with. I 100% recommend upping that to six. I like to always just have a little more... Just have a little more players in the box than I would normally have. I like to score goals. I like to be attacking. So I just have a little more little more attacking, you know. A little more players in the box. More players in the box. More likely you are to score a goal, right? And if you're going to take anything from the video, lower your corners and free kicks down from 3 and 3 to 2 and 2. So they're the tactics I use with a 4 triple 2. The updated player instructions are like so. So I have stay central and getting behind on both my strikers. But, and there is a but. I also have both of them and come back on defence. Now, you might think that's a defensive move. It's not. It's actually an offensive move. It's actually for the attacking side of the game. The reason being is the big thing with a 4 triple 2 is this big gap between your two strikers and your two CDMs. It can be problematic, and it can be. But if you have both your strikers on come back on defence, they kind of drop a little bit, so the gap isn't as big which then in turn makes the passing lanes easier. It gives you an easier option to pass, which means you'll create more opportunities to score goals. So you might think it's a defensive mood move. It's not. It's actually for the attacking side of the game. So stay central, get in behind, and come back on defence on both your strikers. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Works a treat. My lamb and my ram are on come back on defence, and both of them on getting to the box across. In my humble opinion, very, very, very important that you have both of them on getting to the box for cross. The reason being, I just always go with the method that the more players you have in the box to score goals, the more likely you are to score a goal, right? That is just literally the method that I go with. If my lamb and my ram and my two strikers are all in the box at the same time, the ball is more likely to fall to one of my players in the rebounds and stuff like that. You're just basically more likely to get more ball. If you kind of get what I'm saying. So that's why I use that. Score more goals, you'll win more games. That's the way I look at it. Both my CDMs are on cover centre. And then it doesn't matter if you want your right CDM on stay back and your left CDM on balance, just as long as one of them is. So for me, I have my Socrates on balance because he's the more attacking one out of the Yaya Torre and Socrates. So, of course, my Yaya Torre is then on stay back while attacking. And then my Socrates is on balance. Basically, my Socrates just helps out with the attacking side of the game. That's why I use that. And then last but not least, both my fullbacks are also on stay back while attacking. I don't really need the fullbacks. I've got enough players going forward. I've got um, Socrates breaking forward from the uh, CDM line. I've got the Lamb and the Ram with the two strikers. And then last but not least, my goalkeeper is on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. And that right there is my updated 4 triple two custom tactics for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, please, please, please make sure to drop a like on it. Hit that subscribe button to my channel. And also remember to check out Luke1977.com. Wolf20 for 20% off absolutely everything for you guys. Absolutely everything. But yeah, thank you for watching. Spread the level of positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.